Hello leather people. Today we're going to review a not leather tool but a leather tool maintenance tool. <laughs> I should say uh, it's a strop for obviously obviously so for people already know a this is a leather Langler's strop. Okay, this is he sent me his catalog. Uh, this is October 2013 version. Let me uh, go through the catalog before I move on to the strop. I, he makes a uh, exceptional, uh, extra uh, quality, a high-end leather tools. This is SK3 steel blade swivel knife, and this is S35VN super steel round knife with a special feature, a pull cut feature. In he he sells uh, sharpening supplies. Uh, he sells extra fine sharpening stones, eight thousand grit, and this one extra fine twelve hundred grit uh, diamond stone, and a sharpening zig sharpening fixture for the you know swivel knife. Yeah, and a honing compound, green microfine honing compound and a leather on wood strop, leather strop, yes and this is the one and I asked him what grid is this compound and he said, he told me that it's 5000 grit so it's a uh, it's a really a um, pretty good compound for a uh, extra fining touch to the knife I have this a, second, a syringe type one zero micron five gram diamond paste. I I was told that this is twelve thousand. So I try to make this to the uh, apply on the strop, uh, and uh, it didn't have a good result. Okay, I guess there are uh, very little diamonds in here. Um, because this was so cheap, it was uh, seven bucks. So I guess there there isn't much diamond in it. So I guess so that's why he has no result. So I contacted him and I I bought I w I wanted to try his drop. So yeah. And let me move on to catalog. A round knife. Uh, yeah, I, I told about it and this is dealer and dealer. Rhino and just uh, Rhino and you can choose different wood options I will tell you in the back okay mini Sam mini Louis um, Toronto maybe Japanese Tanto style knife a Skyver and a trim knife and APT and copy I really like this design this is a pull full tang design and it's very very sharp tip maybe I will get this in later I really like it uh, and this is draw gauge blade it's a 2 inch draw gauge blade and 4 inch length and this fits every draw gauge available and fits Murphy handle so I guess you could use this as a knife Okay, diamond handles. Okay, diamond handles are are it's just stable and weather and moisture resistance. And you have um, options: black cherry, rosewood, silverstone, agate wood, chestnut, a desert camo, and ebony cocobolo. Yeah, you you can go his website here for the details. Okay, and he does sharpening services and here's the price but this price is only for a good condition knife okay if you if your blade have a chip or thinning behind the edge uh, this at cost additional and uh, the turnaround time is negotiated so you should contact them you should call him or send him an email yeah okay that's that and finally a strop. 
a dimension of this drop is should uh, it's a 14 inch by um, one and a three quarter and three eighths of an inch thick drop yeah I use this uh, when I sh sharp my knife for the final touch I sharpen my knives with um, a very very fine water stone Japanese water stones I sharpen this to 8000 grit and I finally touch with that strap and since uh, oh wait I did I say this strap is 5000 no it's a 50,000 it's a 50,000 wrist leather strap so this might be my final touch okay I will sharpen this knife and uh, let's cut some leather okay here's the how here's how it's done okay you sharpen the knife this way okay this is cutting edge so if you cut this way you will ruin your strap so always cut this way okay like this I will show you okay like this like this and flip this Uh, Paul uh, made his sharpening technique video with his channel I will um, put it in the description box so you can go check him out he uh, he divided blade parts so you can sharpen this part this part and this part and this part but um, it, it's just for your preparedness and uh, your style technique uh, and either way if it works it's fine but um, he recommend his style because he knows what he's doing and he knows his stuff so yeah sharpen like this yep tip okay this came very very fine uh, great um, fine compound and you can see it's a black these are all steel okay this is a steel uh, taken from this blade and um, if you keep using this drop and this came all if this become all black you need to take out the compound and and put some new compound okay okay with the sharpening some custom leather here is a six layers of split leather I made this is two eighth of an inch almost wait okay two is two eighth of an inch thick it's uh, almost eight millimeter thick okay it's about it's about eight millimeter thick it's very thick for leather six layers of leather and glue between them it's very tough leather and I'll cut this with a knife this is Denim Marlin 130 knife okay here we go Okay, again. See that? It's very, very sharp. Okay, wait. This cuts better. Okay. Look at that.
the glue tends to you know stick out so it cuts very well okay it cuts very nice and uh, let me scarf a little uh, you need to a uh, very have a very sharp edge for the scribing and it is very very sharp a yeah you can thin down very thin okay very a paper thin edge with the sharpening okay now this is leather crafter saddles genre okay and on the back of the part it had a pause articles about how strap was made and how it's done by process like this so and uh, I highly recommend this journal uh, it has many informations how to do it or or the you know other companies information advertisements it's really good uh, and uh, yeah I highly recommend this drop for your final touch because if you sharpen this uh, over over to the ore stones or diamond stones you will remove more than enough of a steel so your blade will I um, be short very quickly so after if you use all your all of your steels down to this far you will have no cutting edge so this will uh, end the life but if you um, use a strop you will remove just enough of metal to um, stay sharp so it's um yeah it's very yeah uh, the must to have for the saddle makers or leather workers uh, if you sharp any knives you can finally touch this drop and you can use this for maintaining the edge okay again I'm sorry it was my um, mistake it's 50,000 okay 50,000 so it's very very fine compound okay uh, if you have a chip you need to sharpen on a water stone or a diamond stone but um, if you need to keep the edge or to you know find refine the edge you just need a strop okay this is 50,000 leather strop from leather anglers okay okay thank you guys have a good day